Iran. City governor admits ordering security forces to shoot and kill protesters. In a recent interview on state TV aired Sunday, Leila Vergethi, governor of Quad City, acknowledged ordering security forces to shoot and kill protesters. She said, I have ordered security forces to shoot and kill anyone who entered through the gates of the governor's building. Reports indicate security forces opened fire on protesters based on the governor's orders, killing and injuring dozens. International law bans opening fire on unarmed protesters. The United Nations Human Rights Office issued a statement on November 19th expressing grave concerns over the use of live ammunition by the Iranian regime's security forces against protesters and called on regime officials to refrain from resorting to the use of force. Johnson Iran protests are a sign of popular dissatisfaction with the regime. The Iran protests are a sign of real popular dissatisfaction with the regime's leader, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said Wednesday. Johnson told reporters at a news conference following a NATO summit in the UK, My own feeling is that this is not just about fuel prices. This is a sign of real popular dissatisfaction with the regime, and frankly I am by no means surprised. As so often, Iranian disruption in the region is a distraction from the failings of the Iranian regime. U.S. officials, Iran is secretly moving missiles into Iraq. Iran has used the continuing crisis in Iraq to build up a hidden arsenal of short-range ballistic missiles, part of a widening effort to intimidate the Middle East and assert its power, according to American intelligence and military officials. The build-up comes as the United States has rebuilt its military presence in the Middle East to counter emerging threats to American interests, including attacks on oil tankers and facilities and other malign activities of the Iranian regime. Another woman executed in Iran for defending herself An Iranian woman was hanged at dawn on Wednesday for the 2013 alleged killing of a man who was trying to rape her. Samaya Shabazi is the latest woman to face the death penalty during Rouhani's presidency. She had been imprisoned for six years. This case resembles the 2014 execution of Rehana Jabiri, who was executed for killing a senior intelligence ministry official who had tried to rape her as a teenager.